someone that we are interviewing, we're asking them to share a go for no story from their past. This is a time where you heard no over and over and over again, you failure, rejection, the whole thing before achieving that which you were trying to go after. I'm sure you have a bunch of go for no stories. Is there one that... Pops yeah, there's one that sticks out. I was actually talking to my father about it earlier today. Long story short, I was playing in a national tennis tournament in Tennessee. It was a major tournament to qualify for, well, basically to get a full ride, collegiate scholarship. Every college was there, from Stanford to UCLA to Pepperdine, U Brown, you name it. My parents had flown myself, we all flew out together to the East Coast, and it was my first match. And for people that are familiar with tennis, you play two out of three sets. I lost the first set, 0-6. I was down in the second, 0-5, match point to the other girl. And all I could hear was my father on the sideline quietly saying, well, Cammie, my mother, telling, talking to my mother, well, Cammie, let's pack it up. You know, not this time. Not this time today. I don't know if that's all I needed to hear. It pissed me off beyond belief. I slowly but surely started to come back. I was not going to give up. I knew we had flown all the way out here. I knew I had earned the right to be there. And I was not going to give up, even though this girl was a hairline away from winning the match. If I would have lost first round, we would have packed up, gone, flown back all the way to California, to Southern Cal, and that would have been it. Slowly but surely, I kept fighting through. Now, I wore my personality on my sleeve, but regardless, so in other words, I threw my racket a ton. I was sort of a mini John McEnroe, but, and I got a lot of warnings. Didn't stop me. A lot of warnings. I did whatever I could to win this match. And mind you, it was on clay, and I've never played on clay before. So again, I had that against me. The other girl I was playing was used to playing on clay. So I kept fighting through. It was 100 plus degrees, 100 plus percent humidity. I must, again, I mean, people in the crowd were just kind of going wild. Uh, I had a lot of things going against me. But I slowly but surely, I came back, and I ended up beating this girl in the third set, almost a four-hour match. After that, I walked off the court, and the first thing I said to my father was, I told you we're not going home. He was laughing. He gave me a hug. Um, it was kind of a heartfelt moment, and after that I had every college wanting me to play for them. Oh my.